Hi guys, we're on the inside of the farmhouse and I wanted to give you an update on it because it's had many, many changes. Um, everything's going wonderfully. Uh, Neil and Mike are doing an amazing job. They're the guys that have been doing all the work on the house. It's awesome. Okay, so you guys are used to me coming in this side door, which used to come into the kitchen. So I'm gonna start here. Um, this used to be the kitchen, it's gonna be the mudroom. Everything's been taken out of here. As you can see, all the cabinetry and everything, except for this uh, cabinet and sink. I'm gonna reuse this cabinet in my woodshed. Um, they just haven't taken it out yet because we've been using it. So this will be gone. Um, we did change where the door is. This is no longer gonna be where the door is. There used to be a door right here going into that other area. That's gonna hopefully stop some of the flow of dirt into the rest of the house. Hi, Bobo, did you want some attention? Were you supposed to be on YouTube today? Oh, you're just so precious. You're just such a precious boy. Yes, you are. I love my Bobo. Yes, I do. He's probably my number two favorite cat of all time, which is pretty impressive. Yes, because I have literally had hundreds of kitties. So you've got a pretty good ranking. Miss Bacardi, Bacardi could never be beat. She was the best cat ever, but you're number two. Yes, yes, she just had a bigger personality than you do. Okay, so back to my video. We gotta go, Bobo. I got to continue with the video, okay? All right. Okay, well the door is now here where it used to be a closet from the other side. It's not gonna be a closet anymore, obviously. So that's been changed. Um, wiring's gonna start back this week. Um, some of the house has been wired, but it has just been a little here and there. It's gonna go back back this week. As you can see, all of the ceilings have been removed. All of the insulation has come out of the ceilings. Um, even in here, this is the second uh, bedroom. Uh, so you can see the original ceilings and everything and roof up there. This house, we're not really sure how old it is. So I think it's probably from the 50s is my best guess. Anyway, it's kind of neat to see up in there. It's just kind of cool. Anyway, I mean, I've been up in there, but it's just kind of cool to see it from this angle. All right. Uh, kitchen goes over here. That beam was put in a while back. And this beam was put in a while back. They'll just be covered with sheetrock. But, you know, we, we were able to open up the ceilings quite a bit. Uh, so we'll have taller ceilings right here. And, okay, let me back up just a little bit. As you recall, this used to be, this room back in here, used to be the laundry room right there. And that was my closet to my uh, master bedroom from the other side, obviously. We took the door here. It's not going to have the door opening here anymore. It's been closed up. So there won't be an entrance there anymore because it's going to become a, the master bathroom, uh, this master bathroom. So there's going to be a pocket door right here and this opening to my bedroom. So we don't have to worry because there is a step down right here. So you don't have to worry about a weird door. Um, I'm not going to have an entrance to my closet in here anymore. There used to be one right here where I could go in. That's gone. We now have a door into the bathroom instead and then you'll access the closet from the bathroom. So let me give you the lineup of how this is gonna be laid out. You're gonna walk into the bathroom. On to the right will be the, kit, uh, the sink with the cabinet. Right here in the corner will be a corner shower. Next to it, we're hoping to have a, um, it'll probably be over because the shower will take up some room. I think we're gonna do like a real tall uh, cabinet of some sort that'll be good for storage. To the left, there'll be a little pony wall, a little short wall, and then a, the toilet next to it. And then, I'm not gonna walk, walk through here, but um, as you recall, well, let me back up. And then the closet's gonna be over here. There'll be a door into the closet. So that'll be the closet for the master bedroom. And it was before as well. But as you recall, this floor was an issue this whole time I've lived here. We weren't sure how to fix it. And Neil and Mike got it all figured out and went under there and, <sighs> redid the whole foundation right here. So it's all the same level now, um, which allowed me to make this into a bathroom, which is so amazing. I'm so thankful that they figured all that out. It was a lot of work and I'm very thankful for it. They also were able to change the height of the ceilings because there was more than one ceiling height in here. So they reframed all of that, tore it all apart, uh, got it as all one height ceiling in here. So that'll make it so much better. 
and um, the bedroom's gonna stay pretty much the same as it was before. I can't afford to change the flooring. I don't think they cracked any of it when they were working. I might have to do a little regrouting or something and it's obviously gonna need a bunch of scrubbing. Um, they had to come in here and put a beam in the ceiling and so they had to hold the, the, uh, the roof up basically, the rafters up on both sides with a bunch of bracing. And I was a little worried, I didn't say anything to them, but I was a little worried that it could possibly crack some of this tile, but I don't think it did. I think it looks like the tile's okay. I hadn't looked at it real close yet. I still have this mess over here I have to clean up before tomorrow morning, so y'all just bear with me. Um, the beam they put in there is 20 inches wide. Can y'all imagine? Or actually, I guess you would say tall in this situation. You see it, see it up in there? Starts down here. Where's my finger? Starts down. I can't get my finger in the right place, guys. It's so funny. It's hard to do this with a... Okay, right there. See, it starts there, and it goes all the way up. That's 20 inches wide. So, uh, and we didn't have to get one that was like that, but it just worked out money-wise. That was the best one we could find that was available for the situation. If we had gotten two, like he was going to originally do, um, that wasn't going to be that tall it was gonna cost more money than this one. And this one actually worked out better for the situation we had, so it worked out. But I won't have a problem with my roof sagging in here. As you all recall, this, this room had a leaking roof. This was part of the reason they had built that, that wrong back here. I would assume maybe at some point this was like a back porch before the house was moved here because obviously this roof extended over to here and then stopped. And then when they did the addition of this room, once it was moved here, they they added on over here, but they didn't do this right. Just like many other things they didn't do right in this house when they moved it. But for the most part, all of those things have been corrected. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I'm gonna let you go because this is gonna be a very long video. Oh my gosh, it's seven minutes, that's so long. Okay, well, I'm sorry for the long video. I'm gonna let you go. Wiring and plumbing are coming soon. Um, and I'm sorry it took so long for me to do an update. And I hope everyone's doing wonderful. And y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.